Hi, in this video we will learn how to compute quartiles. So assume we are given the following data set. When working with quartiles, the very first step is to rewrite the data values in ascending order from the lowest to the highest value. We have to find quartile 1, which is labeled Q sub 1, quartile 2, quartile 3, and IQR, the interquartile range. Quartile 2 is the median of the entire data set. Since we have nine values, the median is 134. So quartile 2 is 134. Quartile 1 is the median of the data set that precedes quartile 2. So these are the four values that precede quartile 2. We find the median of this data set. Since there's four values, we have to find the midpoint of the two middle values, which is 86.5. So quartile 1 is 86.5. Quartile 3 is the median of the data values that follow quartile 2. So now we focus on these four values. And since there's four values and that's even, we find the midpoint of the two middle values which is 167. Quartile 3 is 167. Next, we find the interquartile range. It's quartile 3 minus quartile 1, 167 minus 86.5, which is 80.5. We can also use quartiles to check for outliers. Outliers are extremely low or high values. They are typically excluded from the data set. To, de to detect the outliers, we have to compute the left and right fence. So the left fence is quartile 1 minus 1.5 times IQR. Insert the values and we end up computing the left fence as negative 34.25. The right fence is quartile 3 plus 1.5 times IQR. We plug in our information, calculate the right fence, it's 287.75. Now we can look at the original data set and determine if there are any outliers. So the left fence is negative 32.25. That's to the left of our lowest value. So there's no outliers on the left side. The right fence is 287.75. That's between 190 and 540. Thus, the numbers from 10 to 190 are valid data values. 540 is on the outside of the fence. Therefore, 540 is the outlier. And as I mentioned before, outliers are typically excluded from the data set because they tend to distort it and to produce uh, false patterns. Uh, but thanks for watching the video. Take care.